I've got a cordless machine to show you today from my friend Joe, who I swapped, who, well, who had that Turbo Power Junior that we had the three part refurb video of. When I took that round to Joe, he said, would you like something in return? And I said, go on then, what have you got? So we have a box of bits and this Vax Air Cordless Duo which was spotlessly clean. I've had this about a month now and I've been using it quite a lot. So we can see how it's getting on to start with and look through this and the mystery box. Gotta love a mystery box. It could even be a boat. Hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, this is the before video of the Vax Air Cordless Duo, a machine that has been out for quite a while now. But there is, there's, there's two versions of these I think. There's this one, and there's the one with the whole lift off canister to go into handheld mode. This isn't that one, this is the upright with the hose attached to it. I haven't had the other one yet. And yes, this was free, thank you very much. Joe, works incredibly well. There's some of the bits in the box, so what I'll do, We'll do a little two-parter. I'll take out the bits that go with this. There we go. And we'll put that box to one side and go through that later. So what have we got? Well, we'll first off, we've got the charger. Nice, sturdy thing that can be wall-mounted, like so. Charges up the batteries. Not a lot else to really say about that. We have this, which is a multi-angled dusting brush with nice soft brushes. It's not too bad, the problem is you haven't got to put much weight on it to bend it up. So if you have it set up just so, you know, to do some shelves, you've only got to accidentally push down and it does bend. But it's not too bad, that sits on the end of the hose. Pretty much like so, really. It's it's a bit long, but yeah. Obviously, you're not supposed to use it in its full length, I don't think. It's supposed to be like that. So you can get up high or down low. It's not bad. I haven't used that too much, I'll be honest. So there's those. And then here is the machine itself. Now, I appreciate I'm quite late to the party with these, they have been out a long time, there's lots of other videos on YouTube about it, so we won't dwell on it too much on you know, that side of things, I'll, I'll, I'll briefly show you around it, there's, that comes off in the same way that all the Vax uprights do, and the hose clips in there, and you can use it as an extension wand, the whole gubbins of the machine sits in there, the motor is in there somewhere, I've not had it apart yet, all this really does is hold the battery and sort of make it look like an upright vacuum cleaner really. And it works quite well. Got a little boost button that doesn't seem to do too much, but it does light up a lovely blue colour. Like so, and the other switch is a brush roll on off switch. It has Fax's pretty cheap feeling three in one tool, which you have to dismantle. So there's a crevice tool, there's an upholstery brush, and a very stiff dusting brush on that side. We'll pop that together like that. So, yeah, there's the tools. The battery clips onto the front, only got the one battery with it, which is fine because obviously it was free. The second batteries are quite, the batteries themselves are quite expensive still. So it'll be sticking with one battery, but this lasts about half an hour. It's not too bad. At the minute it is fully charged. So we can use it. The button there tells you the charge. So that's not too bad. They're obviously still holding charge even with a little bit older which is nice. We have the brush roll, which is used. So this was mint when I got it. So please don't think anything less of Little Joe. This was utterly mint. We have used it quite a lot at home in tandem 
with the Beko and the Dyson V6, if, if one's charged it gets used, and my mother's just used it downstairs to try it out. So that's how much it picks up and keeps on the brush roll. Nice stiff brushes, but it needs to be a little bit dirty, because obviously this is a before refurb video. When I got it, I could have just named it an after refurb video, because it was utterly mint. So it's nice to put a little bit of dirt on it. There's no post motor filter there, because it doesn't have one. Here is the bin, all the dirt seems to be collecting up there. I think there's a bit of a tissue or something in the way. So we'll have all that out. If I just open the flap, dump that down. We'll twist it open. Now, the filter. Yes, typical Vax. I know another collector, Mr. Richard Bunting, got one of these from the bins by his house with both batteries. And it had no suction at all. And when we saw it, because I was out there at the time, the filter was chock full of dirt. This was mint when Joe gave it to me. Freshly washed the lot. And now it needs a good vacuum off and a wash again, really. There's, you can just see the motor. Don't actually know what wattage this is, you know. Here we go, it's 192 watts. So little diddy wattage. I didn't realise the it was quite so translucent. Quite nice, yeah, little diddy motor. In here, the bin, that bit lifts out, so we can tip all of the dirt out. Yeah, there we go, that was causing the little obstruction. And there we go, you can't take it apart quite as easily as other vaxes. Nothing sort of twists off, that bit screws on. And I imagine, well, that's all one unit there. Oh, there you go, that, the top bit screws off. That should be fairly easy to take apart and clean. There we go, right, let me find a vacuum cleaner. I might have one around here somewhere. And we'll just give this filter a little bit of a clean just so we can have it actually sucking up okay. That's not coming up too bad. So I'll give it a wash. I'm going to do it, but that'll do it for now. We may as well give this a little bit of tickle. Cable, which we don't need because obviously this is a cordless vacuum. Thank you, Lux One R. Let's do something with you one day rather than using you as a bench vac. Don't, don't fall over onto me. Oh, somebody is sawing wood. So there we go. Pop that back in there, lining up the two tabs there and there. We can close that up. We can put this back in. No, we can't because this goes in here. Now we can put this back in, line up the tabs and twist. And in theory I can now show you the suction, which isn't fantastic, but then it is only 192 watts. So it can't be too bad. Put it into boost mode. Nowhere near strong enough to hold its own and hold itself up, but you know, it's not too bad, it's acceptable. I don't know how the base plate ah, base plate does come off. Let's have a quick look at cleaning up the brush roll while we are here. Looks like let me just take the wand out just so that I can push it back a bit. 
these two tabs here. Ah, look at that. Lift up the base plate. Gosh. So sorry, Joe. This was lovely and clean when you gave it to me. Ah, then the brush roll just lifts out. That's good. So it's easy to check for blockages at the very least. Oh, that bit's gone loose. Whoops. Ah, that's why. That's There's two suction channels. The front there goes underneath and comes out under there. And then the brush roll itself goes there. So if we pop the end, can we take the end caps off? Yes, we can. Oh, look at those little tiny bearings. God, they're not going to be fun to fix when they seize up, are they? No. Let me just find my trusty knife that we have had lots of mileage out of so far. And we'll cut all this off. So yeah, it, it, it seems to like to cling on to hair and lint. It doesn't, it's not very good at flinging that off and into the air path by the looks of it. But it does have a really stiff brush roll. Which is probably what makes it, I mean, on suction mode, it's a bit meh, I'll be honest. But it is very good at cleaning floors. This stiff brush roll really does do the job in terms of cleaning up on the carpet. There we go, do the other end. We'll make it pick it up in a minute, shall we? Uh, if we were making pick that up, that is a plastic tie wrap. That can stay up there because that's that will just jam somewhere. Bit of string. I let Evie use this. I think she went mad under her bed without actually checking. Because the kids like it as well. I mean, Charlie can use it. Eva can use it. If I didn't already have a vague plan of who it's going to, we probably would keep it. But we've got enough cleaners, I'll be honest. Do prefer the Becco. This is just a slightly better all rounder, so I'll pop that back in there. The base plate just clips on like that, I think. Give it a quick test. I think no, it won't turn on, will it? We need to put the cyclone back on. Now we'll try it. Yeah, really, really stiff brush roll there. That's very impressive, actually. Let's make it pick up this. bad at all really let me show you what it's like on the carpet now there's a few big clumpy bits don't quite know how it's going to perform I'll leave it on normal mode not on boost let's see what it does It does seem to have stopped picking up a little bit, and that is probably why. Yes, whoops. I'll tell you what that is. Do you remember those two Vax Uprights that we had apart? Yes, that is all the hair from that. Whoopsie. That's just done that again to it. But, yeah, it's picked up a lot of the dirt, went straight up. It started to clag up. There again, I don't quite know there's anything I can really do to that. That's, that. that's quite narrow in there. So yeah, perfectly acceptable. Right, let me get the brush roll cleaned back up and move on to the mystery box. Just whilst I'm midway through giving it a vacuum off, that's what the filter's done again. That's a fair bit of dust went straight back onto that filter. 
Good old Vax. So there we go, really. That's the the main part of this video done. The Vax Air Cordless Duo with wind tunnel three tunnels of suction technology. See how they didn't just call it wind tunnel technology, because obviously I think that's still a Hoover brand now. So, very nice indeed. I do have a plan for that. Let this be refurbished first, but what is in this Argos value bagged vacuum cleaner box? Well, I think Mr. Joe had a clear out because there is all sorts of stuff in here. There is a Dyson floating head, one of the ones I think that would be from a DC08 type one. Quite a nice head. I'll be honest, it's a little bit iffy. The uh, This is why these heads always get scrapped and why I'm probably gonna be scrapping this one. The internal hose perishes. I mean, no, I'll just put me I can put my finger through that ever so ever so easily. It's just falling apart. So yeah, they, they all do that and you cannot buy the hose by itself. It's even worse outside. So yeah, they, they they do that quite a lot. And we have a very nice DC04 base plate. These new wheels, but they all do that, sir. And brush roll housing. Could come in handy. Oh, I don't know if I've got this one. A Dyson Pure Cool brochure. I've not had a Dyson fan yet. I don't really need fans. It's all. I'm never really at home enough. We have a paperback version of Mr. Dyson's autobiography. I've got the hardback of this. So I'll probably pass that on to somebody who might want it. What else have we got? Ooh, Dyson Genuine Components brochure. This looks like it'll be from... That's a DC-11 hose, isn't it? I reckon that's from there. You can date these. Oh, here we go. 23rd of November 2006. Should we date the fan one? I can't always. It's, it's a different style, this fan one. So, possibly not. But there we go. I'll show you that in a minute. That's quite exciting. We have, um, I think, is that DC 15 brush full? I think it might be, it's not too bad. A nice new internal hose. They're always handy. That is that. Is that a Kirby blower attachment? It's blue. Might well be. Ooh. Some, I think they'll be Kirby belts. I think. That one definitely looks like a Kirby belt, but it's not really fit to use. A filter cage. Oh yeah, that, that was DC-15, because look, there's the end caps for it. And switch housings and clutch cover. The two ends actually for this hose. I just screw onto there and there. Although the hose itself is a little bit disformed, but I could probably make it work. Diffuser and internal, that's the seal for the U-bend. Makes the one suction work on a Dyson. Oh, we have some Kirby carbon brushes. They might come in handy. But what was more amazing than that is what is still in this box. It is. What looks like a brand new, no, slightly used, little goblin handy. Yeah, it is used. It's a little goblin handy. With, stop to the box a bit, some tools for it. We have the dusting brush, the little crevice tool, and the extension wand. And that is actually pretty fantastic because I have a brand new in box one of these. Missing that. So now, and I must have had this thing for years. Never did anything with it, never showed you it. It came from the car boot years ago. Now, 
I can actually do something with it. We can show you it. This one I'll probably pass on. We'll see if I can find a use for. The little crevice tool sits there. But yeah, this is quite good. This is 150 watts. Might plug it in in a second. Yeah, I can now finally get my BNIB Goblin Handy Vac working and show you it with the box and everything. I think I've even got the instructions for it. I think it works. <laughs> Certainly got more suction than the Vax back here. The Vax air cordless. Yeah. Nice little vintage. This will be early 90s. Little handheld vacuum cleaner. So thank you very much, Joe. You'll certainly be seeing another one of these because I can get it out of its box. I can just put all of the tools with it that it has. Thank you for all the rest of the stuff. I shall keep some of it. And obviously, thank you most much. For the Vax, which is fantastic, it's got a valine on it. The base is staying very still. I don't know if they all do or not. Have a look when we refurbish it and see what we can find. So, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye.